welcome to Plant-Based City Living. My name's Bridget. And my name is Sigourney, and it's a beautiful sunny day. Finally! <laughs> Summer's coming. Yes. <laughs> and it is time for our classic AMA Tuesday. Yep. Shall you kick us off, my friend? Or am I asking you the first question? Uh, Do we know how this works yet? I... No. <laughs> <laughs> Never. Never. Uh, no, I'm going to ask you this one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so why don't vegans eat honey? Uh, so vegans don't eat anything that is an animal byproduct. So honey comes from bees. Um, and I actually just learned this because Tom and I have been avoiding honey and I wasn't fully sure why. Mm -hmm. um, but the bees are artificially inseminated and the queen bee has her wings cut off and then she's usually killed after like one to two years so that the bees keep working really hard. Okay. So we gotta love the bees too. Right. Save the bees. <laughs> Save the bees. <laughs> um, so Bridget, this one's for you. We get this question a lot. I love the taste of meat, so how can I eat vegan? Uh, pretty easy. <laughs> um, no, that's not true. I think it depends on how much you love the taste of meat. I think um, we recently, more me than you, uh, discovered TVP, but I started feeding that to my husband and he actually thinks it's a very close substitute for like ground meat stuff and to put on tacos and, and burritos yeah. and stuff and he's like all about it. Yeah. He's loving it. Um, I think other than that, you can find a lot of substitutes. We want to try the Beyond Meat Burger that's like high up on the to-do list. But I think it's just getting your taste palette used to different flavors and using, using seasonings in your food. Yeah, you definitely need to adjust over time. Mm -hmm. And TVP is great. We have lots of those recipes coming to you soon. <laughs> kind of <tuned>. obsessed. <laughs> uh, so the next question, is alcohol vegan? Um, so, yes and no. <laughs> yes and no. <laughs> Generally, your spirits are vegan, um, but when it comes to beer and wine, it can get a little bit tricky. Mm -hmm. um, they use different things like eggs, um, gelatin, fish bladder, uh, and milk in their process. I don't know. What do they yeah, do? Yeah, <laughs> so for a lot of, well, wines, it mostly comes down to the filtering process and yeah. if, they, if they use different animal forms for that, which is yeah. so gross. Um, with beer, it gets a little bit more complicated because a lot of times they'll use lactose mm -hmm. to help with flavors. So yeah. if you have um, a beer that's high in alcohol by volume, which is ABV, then typically you're more likely to find lactose because it helps bring other flavors other than nasty booze right. through. Um, and then a lot of local breweries won't use the weird filters, but larger corporations might, but right. a lot of people are moving away from that. So you just have to be mindful and sometimes you have to ask. Yeah, and there's a really good website. It's not as good for um, like small independent places, but it's called barnivore.com. Um, and they have a wide list of beers and wines and spirits, and you can check if it's vegan. Uh, sadly, most red wines aren't. Yeah, although um, talking to a friend of ours, he told me that usually white wines are the culprits for being less likely to be vegan. Oh, well. So I don't know. Barnivore <laughs> shows check. a lot of red wines. So yeah, just check them all and then better be safe than sorry. Exactly. Uh, okay, so now it's time for our rapid fire. And you're gonna make me answer first? Yes. <laughs> All right, so what's the first thing you do when you wake up in the morning? Oh, go back to sleep. <laughs> uh, favorite day of the week? Friday. Uh, favorite holiday? Thanksgiving. Bath or... Well, I guess not anymore, so it was Thanksgiving. No, I don't it's know. It's just Thanksgiving. No, I don't know anymore. <laughs> Bath or shower? Bath. <laughs> Love them. She does. She likes to read with a candle in the like bathroom. She has like a little day. table. <laughs> uh, cake or pie? Pie. What color is your toothbrush? Pink and white. And I bought it for her <laughs> in Hawaii. That's true. I'm still using it. <laughs> what was your New Year's resolution this year, and did you keep it? To not have cheese, and I had two, and to close the lid on the toilet, it and yes to both. <laughs> she used to leave the, like the upper lid. So up. many people do that. Don't worry about it. But I now I don't eat cheese, obviously, and I don't leave the toilet seat up. Like That's the good. lid. Obviously, yeah. I feel like a girl. <laughs> wow, what? TMI. Anyway, your turn. Moving on. Okay. Uh, so, what's the first thing you do when you get up in the morning? I check a massive glass of water. Oh, I should do that. Mm. I'm, I'm going to start. I'm parched. I'm starting today. Uh, you mean tomorrow. <laughs> yes. <laughs> favorite day of the week? Friday, obviously. Yeah, good day. Uh, favorite holiday? Christmas. That should have been my right. answer. No, like Thanksgiving. <laughs> uh, bath or shower? Shower. I don't. I don't bath. <laughs> Cake or pie? Cake. Mm. I don't really like pie. Oh, see, I like the fruity stuff. I love cake. 
<laughs> I know you do, fun <laughs> Betty, all the way. Uh, what color is your toothbrush? Blue and white. Yeah. I bought it when I bought hers. <laughs> That's true too. <laughs> we gotta get any toothbrushes. <laughs> we forgot them. <laughs> and uh, what was your New Year's resolution and did you keep it? Uh, to brush our dog's teeth five times a week and we've been keeping it. Really? Yep. I'm so impressed. Yeah, yeah, it's a grind, but we gotta do it. Oh we gotta keep God. them really white and times it by three. I'm so proud of you. Yep. Yeah, no, we've been good. <laughs> good resolution. Gotta get a check from the vet this year. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Well, that is it for another AMA Tuesday. Thanks for joining us. Yes. If you are not already and you would like to be and who wouldn't want to be, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Facebook at Plant Based City Living. You can find us on YouTube at Plant Based City Living. Yep. Find us on Twitter at PBC underscore lifestyle. And check out the blog, guys. It's almost time for a new meal plan. Yes. Get our meal plan. And I feel like there's some TVP wonders in there, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, no. Nope, a just kidding. A little premature. <laughs> but coming soon, I promise. Coming I promise. Soon. I think that was her way of hinting, like, to get going. Let's do it, guys. <laughs> All right, bye. Bye.